Well, hello there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Atlas. We're back in with another episode looking at another cryptocurrency. In today's episode, we are looking at Solve, or S-O-L-V-E, spelled the same way. Today's date is January 3rd, 2020, or 2020, and the time is 4.56 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Taking a look at the coin market cap side, we see with Solve, it was listed at approximately nine cents or 0.098121 with a 2.49% change. We'll be coming back to this in just a little bit, but first we have to ask the big question, what is Solve? If we head over to solve.care, sorry, if we head over to solve.care, which I will be including a link in the description, as always, so if you wish to do more research on this, which I highly encourage you to do so, you're able to do so. According to their website, they identify it as the following. Healthcare on blockchain. Global platform for healthcare benefit administration and payments. Clients we serve, insurance companies, benefit administrators, government agencies, clinical organizations, accountable care organizations, employers. Purpose of the platform. Redefine the way healthcare is accessed delivered, managed, and paid for. Improve access to care, administer healthcare more efficiently, pay providers for results accurately and on time, improve outcomes and reduce overall costs. Purpose-built platform for health healthcare. Using blockchain technology, we built a comprehensive healthcare platform from the ground, ground up. The platform has five key components, care.wallet, a personalized healthcare administrator for individuals and providers. Care.cards, purpose-built applications inside the Care.wallet that fit an individual's or provider's specific needs. Care.coin, an intelligent programmable token used to pay providers. Care.protocol, a system that connects and synchronizes wallets, cards, and coins between users. Care.vault, a secure organizer for data with managed access. How the platform works. Launch your own care administration network on the solve.care platform. You can build three types of networks, benefit network, clinical network, and financial network. Using the solve.care platform, use the care administration network to connect all parties and publish personalized care.cards for them. For administrators, appointments, referrals, eligibility, enrollment, bills, and payments. For clinicians, chronic disease management, preventative care, episodic care, wellness checks, quality measurement. For patients, appointments, book a ride, prescription management, care circles, claims processing. What our clients say about us. Arizona Care Network, ACN, has been using solve.care, care.wallet, for physicians to change the way it delivers and manages patient care. This physician-led and governed accountable care organization has been reducing costs and improving patient outcomes using care.wallet. In April 2019, ACN won a NAACOS Innovation Award for their implementation of solve.care, care.wallet for physicians. We tell the healthcare story in a different way. Solve.care is rewriting how healthcare is explained. Request a storybook that shows you how. So we head back over to the coin market cap side. They have a little bit of a description here. I'm going to go ahead and read this for you guys. Solve.care is a healthcare IT company that builds blockchain platforms, which the team believes may improve the way healthcare is delivered and managed. The Solve.care platform reportedly uses blockchain technology as the underlying distributed ledger for coordinating care, benefits, and payments between all parties in the chain of healthcare, patients, doctors, pharmacies, laboratories, employers, insurers, and others. Solve tokens may be used to secure efficient and transparent healthcare administration around the world. The token supply is fixed in the price variable as determined by market supply and demand. Solve token runs natively on the Ethereum blockchain and is designed to follow the ERC-20 token standard. Solve utility tokens are the currency used for transactions on the platform. According to the foundation, they can be utilized to pay for care administration network fees, establish care.wallets, purchase care.cards, and participate in care.marketplace services as well as pay for associated integration fees. In addition, Solve is reportedly used for the emission of care.coins and payments requiring care.coins. Looking at the price action on the chart itself, we're going to remove Ethereum here for a second, but we can see it compared to that of Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
Bitcoin being that of gold and Sol being that of green, we can see that there's a bit of a relationship here. Hasn't existed for quite so long. It's been since about February of 2019, according to the coin market cap side. We see a little bit of a spike up on the February of 2019, another spike around June of 2019. The June 2019 is actually a good indicator because that's around the time the Bitcoin hit its $14,000 high point and then it trails off downwards. So there's, from what we can tell here, there's a little bit of a relationship between the two. All time low, April 11th, 2019, approximately four cents at 0 0.041499 United States dollars. All time high on June 5th, 2019 at approximately 56 cents or 0 0.565909. Market rank as of the time of this video is number 97 on the list. Solves return on investment at negative 31.24%. Market capitalization at over $32 million. Volume in the last 24 hours at $189,660. Circulating supply of $327,424,138 million. Sol, and total supply of $1 billion sol. Maximum supply also $1 billion sol. As far as the sources working with this of Solve, sources include Upbit, VCC Exchange, Bitrix, KuCoin, BitsDAX, and Lightbit.eu. That does it for this brief coverage of Solve. Feel free to let us know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you feel that this has a promising future? Do you think it's going to fall flat on its face? What are your guys' opinions? Do you think there's anything else that's better or worse than this? Let us know down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We are covering a lot of different cryptocurrencies on this channel, as well as doing a series of tutorial, how-to type videos, glossary terms, and as well as doing major news coverage on Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys had a great time, and I will see you guys later.